new car manufacturers there hasn't been many good numbers coming out gm had some positive numbers but that's about it i guess lamborghini sales are up but uh, not, uh definitely not in my budget now carvana has their numbers out and they're showing uh higher than expected earnings so they actually have a uh um uh, well positive numbers their, their sales are up uh that income 148 million the interesting part of Carvana's uh, 148 million is they had 157 million in interest expense. So I mean they're definitely they definitely have some some power there. If they could extinguish some of their debt, they'd be like crazy profitable for the numbers. Uh, I realize debt is a strategy at times, but Carvana definitely has something figured out there. And just comparing, so September of 2023 to September 2024, they had this uh, debt extinguishment. So that skews those numbers a little bit. So I brought up the um, second quarter earnings uh, just to compare. And they had a 48 million net income. So they have greatly increased their net income in Yahoo Finance. Somewhere in here was the uh, estimate, and they, they basically they beat the estimate. So definitely uh, doing higher, increasing the numbers, uh, getting even better than the uh, than the uh, than the estimates that are coming in, which it obviously is a slippery slope because if you beat it too often, then the estimates come in higher and higher. And pretty soon you disappoint. You can't quite hit those numbers. Uh, looking at Carvana at their website, they have uh, they've been really aggressive. So the way Carvana works is it's kind of like a local car lot, except they kind of make it look like all their car lots are local to you. So they're showing 22,608 cars available. So when you go into one of them, and like and notice, great deal price drop. I mean, yeah, they're the ones deciding that's a great deal. But um, when you go into one, it's got all the information. It basically wants you to get started and to buy it, and they'll deliver it. So this car could be basically anywhere. Yeah, and they can... I mean, they can play with these numbers too. They can use whatever. Kelly Blue Book tends to be higher, so that's why that one, why that one works. But but basically, they these cars can be anywhere. So it'd be like going to, you know, some used car lot, local to you, and there's not that many around, or they, they don't have that many cars available. So each car lot just has a small area. So the hack that they're doing is making it look like every car that they have at any location in the country is available to you. So that when you search, you can find something that's gonna meet your criteria because it's so many. I mean, the average like small used car lot, at least by me, it's probably got 30 cars on it. So there's not that much selection, you keep looking. I like using Porsche as a example of what to, uh, to to sort by in uh, Carvana just because they have less vehicles. You sort by Toyota and you get like a million pages or something. Uh, but notice all the price drops. And when they do a price drop, I mean, it's a few hundred dollars, like $400. What's that one? $400. So their idea of a price drop isn't that much of a price drop. And it's uh, like a one price selling. They're, they're not going to uh, discount it further. And then like there's, so there's only 10 pages of Porsche, but they've got price drops on half of them. A few of these I have uh, looked up the price on and uh, like different blue book services. And what I get is that these prices are a little bit above where uh, what I would look up anywhere else as a uh, retail price. But then of the 10 pages, typically you get close to the end. Okay, see, so these are all on hold or purchase in progress. So when you go through Carvana, there is a ton of vehicles. 
that say purchase in progress. And I don't know if this is a legitimate purchase in progress or if they're just trying to get your name and number. Because if you click on one of these, it says something about, uh, yeah, purchase pending and it wants you to enter your information to get notified. So I, it possibly that's a scam to uh, get your contact information. But if this is legitimate, and it appears to be, there's a lot of cars being sold because they have them, you know, they have them set aside, the purchase in progress, they just haven't taken them off. So it's kind of like putting a sold sign on, uh, putting a sold sign in the front yard of a house for sale, like just trying to drum up business for that person selling that, hey, these things do move. You know, strike while the iron's hot type of thing. So I can see why they're making so much money. They're, they're getting full price out of their cars, plus a little bit, basically. They get a shipping charge on top of it. So it's kind of like a new car manufacturer. And I believe this is like pinging off the satellite on my end, because the, the town it lists I'm in isn't actually where I am, but it's not like that far off. So it must be estimating distance for delivery from where I'm at. Uh, for the most part, it averages about $1,000. So, uh, I mean, that's an extra $1,000 on top to get it delivered. And you can't see it until it's delivered. So that's fun. But all these purchase in progress, purchase in progress. So Carvana's definitely selling. I don't know who's going to compete with them. They've got the used car market. So they're basically competing with new car manufacturers but they don't have the same problems. A new car manufacturer has to plan out basically years in advance what they're going to have. In Carvana, I mean, they're buying from, uh, you know, people bring their cars in and buy from them, and they're buying from auctions, uh, dealer auctions. And I'm sure they've got some other places they're getting them from. But they can change their buying habits, you know, turn on a dime type of thing. And they're not stuck where, I don't know, if you're trying to sell Dodge pickups all of a sudden, you know, you couldn't get in enough, and now you turn around and you've got six times more than you could possibly sell. Where Carvana could, well, they could even run cars back to auctions, because in theory, if they bought it at auction, they should be able to sell it at auction for about the same money. I mean, yeah, the market fluctuates a little bit, but they should be able to uh, turn these vehicles. I'm just always amazed at how many they have. So I'm not surprised to see that their earnings are up. And I, I mean, getting over $100 million for a quarter for a used car dealer, I mean, that's that's crazy. They've definitely got the, uh, the secrets figured out. Um, one of the things I notice in Carvana is they handle the financing. Somewhere in here it says like 80% of people finance with Carvana. Yeah, roughly 80% of customers finance with us. So they're definitely pushing that you finance with them. And that's, I mean, that that's also a way they make money, but that makes it just an easy process. So if you're gonna go to your credit union and get a loan, credit union's gonna look it up and they're gonna say, hey, this thing blue books for, you know, 2,500 less than what you're paying. Are you sure you wanna do this? Where if you buy with Carvana, they're just gonna be like, hey, thanks, here's the keys. You know, make your payment type of thing. Probably set up an auto pay or something so they can get their money back out of you. But definitely it's a uh, it's a simpler process. It's I mean I've bought cars from a uh, traditional car lot and it's a freaking nightmare. This really looks like it would be a much better simpler process. Uh, especially if they bring the car to you. I mean I've oh god, I bought cars and I mean you go in there for nothing and you spend 3 hours I don't get why they've got to uh, try to keep you there so long. I mean, I, well, okay, I get it. They're trying to sell you more stuff. Like, you need this warranty. You need this undercoating. I've seen them put Stripe packages on cars for hundreds of dollars. It's like just a freaking sticker or line that I did not want in the first place. So there's always scams going on. This looks like a way to get around it. Um, I, I mean, yeah, maybe not because you're, I mean, some of the book values are higher. But at least you're getting something for it. You're, I guess, paying the premium to uh, buy a vehicle. Yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea. And, and as things have been going up and down, definitely compare to new. 
because I've seen a lot of used vehicles where new is cheaper or pretty close. Like maybe you can drop a couple options and get a new one. And uh, most of the time your interest rate is going to be cheaper on new. So you're actually going to do better. So do your research before you buy anything. But uh, I guess watch Carvana and the companies out there like that that have figured out that they can ship a car to you and pretend like they are the car lot next door. And uh, if you're the car lot next door, your market's getting smaller and smaller and it's making it tough. So you're forced to compete on price because that's the one thing these people don't have. But that's what I have for Carvana with their latest earnings report for third quarter 2024. Thank you.